watches and films are more than just fashionable accessories. They're deeply woven into the story and provide complexity to the characters. Watches in films have progressed from incidental iconography, when the proper watch decorated the lead's wrist, to deliberate commercial placements orchestrated by studios. Regardless of their origins, several high-end timepieces worn by Hollywood's leading performers have become celebrities in their own right. So we thought, why not share some hidden meaning of watches in movies we've seen over the years? Let's dive into how movies serve as the epic stage for marketing. It's the ultimate platform for showcasing products. You've got the visuals and enough time to showcase a product, tie it to a famous movie star, and sometimes give it a whole personality that sticks with the audience forever. You know what's interesting? The watch a character wears or doesn't wear says a ton about them. Across cinema ages, tons of characters have rocked watches and styles that have become super iconic, leaving a lasting impact. Strategic product placement isn't just about cashing in, it's about making a mark on our culture. And these luxury watches in movies? They're captivating. They've got this magical charm that draws us in. Collectors love going back in time and checking out these awesome, now vintage watches. And hey, these watches have been known to ignite a wave of interest in collecting. Why, you ask? Well, they've got this allure that's hard to resist. Interestingly, every watch carries a narrative, a graduation, a birthday, a promotion, an engagement, each marking a moment preserved and immortalized by the intricate mechanics of gears, springs, and crowns. Watchmakers and storytellers in film and television leverage these timepieces to infuse characters with depth, crafting backstories that extend far beyond the limited time frame of their on-screen presence. At time, a single watch can reveal crucial insights about a character. In Casino Royale, the portrayal of a grittier James Bond, played by Daniel Craig, relied on his interaction with Vespa and the watch he wore. Departing from the historical association of James Bond with Rolex, the explicit mention of Omega in their dialogue signaled a transformation, a reinvention of the iconic character. Rolex. Omega. Beautiful. Similarly, Christopher Nolan's Batman Begins reintroduced Bruce Wayne, as portrayed by Christian Bale, donning a Gégé Le Coute Reverso Grand Tail. Beyond its price, this watch's standout feature, a reversible dial, is concealing its face, symbolically aligned with the enigmatic nature of Batman. Both luxury brands are prime examples of effective product placement, customizing models for their respective franchises and enticing customers. Such strategic placement, whether paid or organic, historically contributed to the growth of the luxury watch industry, often linked with celebrated actors like Paul Newman and Steve McQueen. In Inception, the totem, a spinning top, serves as a reality check. However, the protagonist's watch subtly reinforces the theme of time as a crucial element. Its ticking sound becomes a nerve-wracking reminder of the limited time in the dream world and adds tension to the plot. The watch in Back to the Future isn't just a prop, it's an essential plot device. Its function as a time machine symbolizes the protagonist's quest to navigate and alter his destiny, emphasizing the importance of choices and their impact on the future. In the 2016 movie Money Monster, the suave George Clooney sports the Omega Speedmaster Professional 18 karat Gold, a subtle but remarkable choice. Clooney, handling the challenging role of Lee Gates skillfully, delivers a standout performance. However, the silent yet impactful presence of his solid yellow gold Omega Speedmaster professional steals the show. The film's premise is intense. An enraged investor hijacks a live TV show, hosted by none other than George Clooney's character Lee Gates. He, along with his captivating timepiece, become a hostage. To uncover their fate, you'll have to catch the movie. Let's talk about Rolex watches in movies, shall we? These iconic timepieces often stand for something less savory wealth flaunted disdainfully. You've got characters like Alec Baldwin's Blake in Glen Carey Glen Ross, Matthew McConaughey's Mark Hanna in The Wolf of Wall Street, and Bale's Christian Bateman in American Psycho, all rocking Rolex day date or date just models. These guys epitomize that excess of materialism vibe, especially Bateman, who clings to his watch after a wild night in a moment of post-coital arrogance. Now, picture this. In Apocalypse Now, the Rolex GMT Master symbolizes an entire character's journey. Captain Willard's mission in the Vietnam jungles is to chase after the eccentric and erratic Colonel Kurtz, played by Marlon Brando. 
Kurtz's GMT Master with the missing bezel and the ring around the watch face creates this mysterious narrative. Was it lost in the chaos of war or intentionally removed by Kurtz? It leaves a lot to your imagination, right? What's left of the watch is this meticulously crafted Rolex, made of over 200 intricate parts taking ages to assemble. Despite its elegance, the watch shows signs of wear and tear, catching the eye of watch enthusiasts every time it's on screen. Like Brando's powerful performance, the watch grabs your attention, hinting to viewers, even the casual ones, that something's not quite right about it. Do you remember Jerry Maguire? Tom Cruise's character, Jerry, journeys from being a sports agent to someone more family-focused. And guess what? His Tag Heuer Sport Elegance watch goes through a transformation too. At first, Jerry rocks it on a leather band, but as he gets real and closer to the end of the movie, he switches to a metal band. Let's call her. The change in the watch mirrors Jerry's personal growth, showing how he settles comfortably into his true self. Now, let's talk about Benedict Cumberbatch in Doctor Strange. He plays this skilled yet egotistical neurosurgeon who's all into luxury watches. He picks up the GG Le Coup Master Ultra Thin Perpetual, which becomes a big deal after a car crash messes up his hands and wrecks his watch. What's fascinating is that this Ultra Thin Perpetual has this unbreakable face, so the prop folks had to swap it out to make it look shattered like the windows on the Sanctum Sanctorium, where Strange eventually hangs out. Strange's journey is about mastering time tricks and choosing to become the Sorcerer Supreme instead of fixing his scarred hands. And you know what's interesting? He decides to keep wearing his broken GG Le Coup, using it as a reminder of his epic transformation. Cool way to symbolize his path, right? You know, watches often serve as a metaphor for the movie or TV show they're in. Remember True Detective? While the two detectives were racing against the clock to crack the Yellow King and Carcosa mystery, fans online were on a different mission, figuring out the exact watch Matthew McConaughey's character, Rust Cole, wore throughout the series. This one watch stuck with him, but its identity remained a puzzle. Then, the show's prop master, Linda Rice, spilled the beans online. The watch he wears is a Loris Tidal. I chose that watch because it looked like something he'd owned for a long time. I thought its appearance was simple yet classic, with a strong masculine vibe. Interestingly, the watch wasn't just an accessory. It symbolized a core theme of the show, Cole's belief that events repeated because time is a flat circle, a direct nod to the Loris Tidal itself, its smooth face and hands ticking round and round, symbolizing time's eternal loop. You're probably wondering if watches are made specifically for a movie, right? Well, yeah, some watches are created because of movies. In Stanley Kubrick's 2001 A Space Odyssey, there's this special watch made just for the film. Hamilton Watch Company was tasked with creating a complex, multi-time zone timepiece for the movie. Back then, it was too intricate to produce. Recently, Hamilton did it again for Interstellar. Matthew McConaughey rocks a Hamilton khaki pilot day date, while his on-screen daughter, Murph, played by Jessica Chastain, flaunts an exclusive watch tailored for her character by Hamilton. Arnold Schwarzenegger's been sporting Udemar Piguet watches in his movies for ages, especially in the Terminator series. From the 99 film End of Days, Udemar Piguet whipped up a special Royal Oak offshore model. Schwarzenegger even collaborated with the company on a cool limited edition design. Product placement usually turns out to be a win-win deal. The movie folks get a product that speaks volumes about the character, while the watch brand gets its timepiece on the big or small screen boosting visibility and brand recognition. Predicting a movie or TV show's success is a gamble. Watch companies have to commit to product placement way before production starts, and sometimes it takes a year or more for their watch to appear in the final cut. In the wise words of Hollywood screenwriter William Goldman, nobody knows nothing. It's all up in the air, and watch companies must weigh their options based on the cast, story, and how their product fits in. If a movie flops, chances are the watch featured in it might just slide by unharmed. Take a closer look at the character's wrists the next time you watch your favorite movie. You might be amazed at how much more you discover.